Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Northern Soul channel here on YouTube and um, I'm going to be discussing how to t tape uh, knuckles. So if they're sore, arthritic, uh, that sort of thing, um, I'm going to show you how to do the taping for that. should give you a little bit of relief. Uh, I do have another video on sprained knuckles, so um, go ahead and check out that in the playlists over on uh, Northern Soul channel. And uh, you can see that and a number of other tapings as well. But just so you're aware, like even uh, taping the fingers together uh, and then individual knuckles to support them and stabilize them. This one's uh, primarily for, I know I got a request from uh, some of the, the comments for up, up in this area, these knuckles. So I'm going to show you quick taping uh, for that uh, and how to offload that sort of thing. So let's get to it. So we'll get into some tape here. So I just got some ender rolls here because I don't you don't need a lot of tape, which is good. And we'll be cutting this up into like four pieces depending on uh, how big your fingers are. If they're like massive, um, then you you know if you got big sausage fingers, then you can do this into thirds. But if you're like uh, like me, you're probably down in, into quarters. So let's get to it. So usually I measure because you want to include. You don't have to include that, but you might want to include it. It's not going to do any harm, this knuckle in here. And um, of course you can tape multiple knuckles at a time as well. So uh, I'm just going to measure and you want it to go a little bit past because if you're extending the fingers, you can see the tendons that kind of run through. So I'm going to be uh, including those in the taping just to kind of offload those. So it's like two parter. So I'm just going to do about that much right there. And then I'm going to cut this into four. So this is a normal two inch wide uh, strip. So I'm just going to cut that in half here, just visually. Cut that in half again. And there's our four strips. Now I'm going to round off the ends so it just doesn't catch on things and then start stripping off your fingers. So we're only going to need about three of these. Unless you screw up, then you got like one spare. But that's probably not going to be a real huge concern. Uh, also, if you're interested, if you're new to taping, there's uh, I do have a 101 uh, foundations tape that discusses everything you need to know, uh, the basics about taping and how it works and all that stuff, as well as um, some head-to-head -head videos on different brands that I've tested um, the taping on. You can see the results on that, and that's also on the Northern Soul channel. Okay, so first thing I like to do is to tape the actual knuckle itself. Now, this is a general purpose one, so and it's really quick to do, and that's why I like it. And uh, it just provides that stability and just offloads. So if there's general pain on there, we're just going to add one basic strip on there like that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. So I'll usually break it on the ends because I'm going to use it as an anchor point. And then I'll just kind of be like over here, just like that. That's the anchor point. And I'll, I'll put that into flexion, so full flexion. So you're basically making a fist. So with no stretch, you get the full knuckle here. Now if you can't uh, flex your fingers all the way because it hurts too much you can just do basic like the neutral position and then add stretch to the tape so how much stretch i would add to the tape probably about 50 percent but if you can do the flexion then you can go ahead and just tape like that so it'll be across no no stretch and you want to see where so i've just kind of parked it on the knuckle there and if you want to see where the tendon is if you do the extension you can see it kind of travels that way so I'm just going to continue along that path visually with no stretch. So I'm going to want to follow the tendon back. Now if you make it a little bit lo uh, longer, the tape, that's fine because you can follow there and then pass even the wrist if you, if you wish. This can help with stuff like, uh, especially these two fingers, for um, if you have like tennis elbow. I uh, also have that taping on, on the Northern Soul channel as well, so you can check that out. So that's that taping. It's pretty simple. And then if you extend it, that's fine as well. But this is okay, because we're just focusing on the knuckle. And if you do extension, what will happen is you can kind of see from the side it binding up a bit. And that's lifting the skin, creating that space circulation that helps with um, improvement. So we're talking like 
if there's any sort of swelling, it'll help direct it out of the area because it's because the space, and then uh, it also opens the the gate towards heading towards the armpit. That's where the the node is for um, lymph drainage. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to support the knuckle itself. So I'd usually add this one first, and then I'm going to show you the support one here. So same idea, and then I'm going to come across the front here. So kind of like half onto the knuckle and then half off, you're going to come around and then divert it back onto where that tendon is. So this is this tendon really sticks out. You can see that in that one. So that would be easy if you did this knuckle across and then kind of support, follow it back. All right, so I'm going to do about, you do about 45, actually, you should be not quite 90, but about, about 45 degrees or so is how I would hold the, uh, the knuckle. And then kind of down here is the anchor point. So I want to clear that, that webbing so it doesn't kind of feel weird when you open it. Because if you're half on, it starts to kind of pull on the tape and you don't really want that effect. So it's going to come across like halfway knuckle. So you want you want to affect kind of the support around. So it's almost like a I don't want to say a bra, but it's kind of like a <laughs> kind of like a bra for your uh, for your joint here. So I'm just going to add some stretch, a little bit. You're talking about 25%. Come around, and then you find that there's the tendon there. I'm going to come around and follow it out. There we go. So it's kind of like that. Grab a second tape. Same thing, kind of break it on the ends and just make sure you don't touch the adhesive. And then you're going to do about 45 degree angle anchor just across like that. And you're going to sweep around the knuckle to create that support, that cupping effect. And I'm just going to add a bit of stretch there. So around there, and then I'm going to guide it back once again towards that, that tendon. There we go. I'm just going to press that down there. You've got to be careful rubbing it that you don't start clipping the sides and stuff. Because then once it starts uh, coming off, it's like a one-time use. So once it kind of comes off, it doesn't, it'll never re-stick. you got about 10 to 15 minutes before it's really on there. And then I also recommend you, if you're gonna do any sort of, like get it wet or that sort of thing, um, wait about an hour. For those of you that are using your hands for manual work and you're gonna get oil, grease, that sort of stuff, don't forget, to, uh, you can also wear like um, latex gloves or, or some sort of gloves uh, on there to protect them uh, so that you can still do manual work and have the support without getting it all greasy or dirty. Uh, and because some of you don't have the, really the options, not, not uh, practical to keep reapplying after each session. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. It really does have that sort of different angle feel, that support on there, that's what it feels like. And it's right focused on the knuckles. So I can really feel a lot in that front part. So as you compress, you still, thankfully with kinesiology tape, you, you still have full range. You can see it just, it's not, slowed down at all or diminished but the support kind of you can see how it opens up as I, as I move the knuckle and it's just really providing that stability in the area as well as you know offloading and directing uh, any sort of excess fluid that you may may have if you don't it doesn't matter it's it helps it's almost like auto automated so that's the uh, the taping for the knuckle of course you can just if you had a few knuckles you could do it on each one as needed and just direct it back based on the tendon. So thanks to uh, all of you that subscribed to the channel. Uh, likes are much appreciated and um, hopefully you guys have a good day. Thanks.